pro bono is something that we as lawyers have an obligation to do. And for lawyers who are just starting out, I would say you can only really succeed if you really love what you're doing and are really committed to it. And so find something that you really love and value and give as much as you can. And that will hopefully keep you happy, engaged and successful as a lawyer. For me personally, I love the voting cases because voting is such a fundamental right. There is no right that is more important to our citizens than the right to vote. Everything else flows from it. And Neil Steiner in the last decade has probably done as much as any other lawyer, certainly any other lawyer in the private bar to make sure that all eligible citizens vote. Neil has since 2006 unflaggingly fought for voter rights in I think at least nine different states around the country. And that love for these cases is just so infectious. So I think if I were to describe Neil's commitment to pro bono and voting rights, there are three words that would come to mind for me. Passion, mentor, and insightful. Heartfelt. Strategic. Unshakable. Intellectually rigorous. Tireless. Dedicated. Genius. And generous. Neil is the full package. It's really a joy to work with him. Neil has been somebody that we've come back to time and again. He's done several cases with us since the Ohio case. And we can say for sure that between 2010 and 2016, there were something like 800,000 additional voter registration applications at these Ohio agencies directly resulting from the work that Neil did with us in that case. And during all of this time, he has worked for many, many other voting rights organizations in other high profile cases. We had a really big problem in 2016 in New York City, where over 130,000 voters were mysteriously removed from the Democratic Party rolls and in essence had to fight to be able to cast their ballots. With Neil's assistance, we sued the New York City Board of Elections and they entered into a detailed settlement agreement with us. So having high quality pro bono assistance, which Neil Steiner and his firm bring to our cases is absolutely invaluable and a real benefit we believe to New York's voters. For me in my own professional career, I quite frankly have grown up with these cases and grown up with Neil and his guidance. I've worked with Neil on the Wisconsin voter ID case, the Kansas proof of citizenship case. And at that trial, one election scholar had deemed it as one of the most important voting rights trials thus far of the 21st century. The Kansas Secretary of State, Chris Kobach, had implemented having documentary proof of citizenship as a prerequisite to registering to vote, even when you did it through the DMV, where the law was pretty clear that it was all supposed to be done at the same time. It had devastating consequences. About one out of eight voter registration applications was rejected while this law was in effect. And it was just a very highly watched and very contentious trial. It put that narrative question about election fraud front and center, and Neil helped dismantle it through careful work in discovery and masterful cross-examination work at trial. We absolutely could not have succeeded in that case without Neil. He is not only one of the most talented lawyers I've ever worked with, but he's one of the most modest, and I'm just grateful for the partnership we've had over the almost past decade or so. When you're looking for someone to be a, an example of what it is to do good pro bono work, they have to not only do good substantive work, but also have to help the next generation continue that. And I think he does that in every way. Neil Steiner is a terrific pro bono role model. He, I think in lots of ways, sets the standard for pro bono counsel.